inmates are back in custody tonight after escaping from the Community Correctional Center in Warren County. WCPO 9 News reporter Taylor Nimmo is looking into how they got out and what's being done to keep it from happening again. Glennis Thompson, Dylan Howington and Cody Roberts are all three back in custody at the Warren County Jail after escaping from the Correctional Center early Wednesday. Now all three were arraigned in the Lebanon Municipal Court and made their appearance via video call from the jail. Two shattered windows. That's how Thompson, Howington and Roberts all broke out and ran free from the Talbert House Community Correctional Center Wednesday morning. The Monroe Police Department caught Howington and Roberts shortly after the escape, but police didn't catch Thompson until Wednesday night. We had the K-9 there. Usually when suspects hear the K-9, um, they, the K-9 tracks to them, they, they usually give up. Uh, he came out, he was placed into custody. Chief David Burke says adult parole, Trenton police, and a tip from a community member all assisted in finding Thompson. When you have those individuals that escape from a facility, obviously it's a risk to our citizens. So immediately when we heard this and he has ties to Middletown, we immediately got with adult parole and we started looking for the individual, making some calls, and thankfully we were able to him, get him in custody. Nobody was harmed. This isn't the first time inmates have escaped from the community correctional center. Two inmates also escaped back in 2018. They also got out by breaking a window. We asked Chief Burke if he has any concerns about the security at the facility and the potential of allowing dangerous criminals into the Middletown area. It's happened in the past. I mean, we're not concerned about it. Again, um, they get the information out right away. I think three suspects left and they had two in custody right away. Those who live in the area are breathing a sigh of relief. These inmates are back in custody. Definitely makes me feel safer, especially having kids myself. I asked the Correctional Center what's being done to prevent more inmates from getting out in the future. A spokesperson says they are reviewing data to make any possible improvements to the facility and or procedures in the future. They provided a statement saying in part, as a staff secured facility, we are unable to use physical restraints. We use best practices that have been researched and shown to increase positive outcomes for justice involved clients. These three individuals reflect poorly on the overall success of the approximately 500 clients we serve a year. As for Roberts, Howington and Thompson, a judge set their bond at $500,000. They're expected to be back in court next week. Reporting from Lebanon, Taylor Nemo, WCPO 9 News.